Year, what's going on everybody on youtube it's your boy starboy that's and i'm back with another video and like i always say we're on the road to a thousand subs so hit that subscribe button right now we have 583 so i'm only 417 away so if you guys could at least 17 of you guys could hit that subscribe button to at least give me the 600 and it would be at an even number that'd be wonderful so for today's video the goal is going to be get me to 17 more subscribers now let me stop playing but in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a sneaker that I feel like is very dope, very slept on. And I don't know why, to be honest, I feel like the shoe is very fire. And it's actually a sneaker that you could wear all year long, so I, I just don't understand why. But after this short little intro, we're gonna get straight into it. Let's go. All right, we're on it. So the sneaker that I'm actually talking about actually comes in this red box. This sneaker actually came out last year, 2020, and I would say late, August or late September. I'm not sure. I don't even know my months like that. But it came in this red box closer to October, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna give you guys about a good five seconds. So five, four, three, two, one. The suit I'm actually talking about in today's video are these Air Max Halloween edition. Let me turn on the brightness. So the suit I'm actually talking about is this sneaker right here. The Air Max 97, I believe these are called a Halloween edition. I'm not even sure why they're called Halloween edition because this sneaker can be worn all year long. So I just don't understand why it's actually called a Halloween. It really doesn't even give off that much of a Halloween vibe if you ask me. It's like basically just a clean dope shoe that has different little hits and details that makes the shoe a lot cleaner and give it more of a different vibe instead of just having that plain basic white, black and red Air Max that we always get. Or if it's not that, it's always a silver bullet and stuff like that. No, people want some different stuff. People want some flavors. So I feel like this sneaker right here is very fire. And I don't understand why it's going for only $172. That's less than retail. Retail is $180 for the sneaker. So you can actually get this on Stock X, which is the most outrageously priced website for under retail. I don't understand. I don't understand. You know? I ain't no sneaker reseller and all that stuff, so I don't know how it's priced. Maybe this sneaker may go up in price later on in a year or a few years, but I feel like this shoe is definitely a sneaker that you guys should, should go ahead and check out, or if not, consider picking up over the next couple of months because at the end of the day, this sneaker right here is below retail, it's fire, it's different, and I'm pretty sure you're really not gonna see how much people rocking these, even though they actually sold out. If I'm not mistaken, I think they only released on like two websites, and the two websites were like, what it was, I think it was like Kith or Kith or something like that, Kith or Nike. So you don't have to really worry about these being like a oversaturated shoe, such as uh, Air Jordan that recently has been coming out. So this is definitely a sneaker that I advise you guys to pick up. Like it's just a clean shoe. Like if you really wanna get into details, the bottom has a green glow soda, actually glows in the dark. A sneaker that glows in the dark is going below $200 and you guys are sleeping on a fire comfortable sneaker that's very dope like come on now like green glow sole a little bit of that crimson nike in the middle on that black piece moving up to the mid side of the shoe on the side you have this purple transitioning into this green glow that actually drips down on a nike check which is fire and it's just a clean shoe and then on the back it says air max in that crimson colorway then a little bit of a pop of detail as you guys can see right here it actually shows you guys an iridescent effect which i believe is very fire very different gives the shoe a different vibe and a different feel and different lights you know what i mean so not only is this sneaker super cheap super affordable but this sneaker should get up a little bit more love if you ask me this sneaker came out before the undefeated air max 97s in my opinion i feel like these look a little bit better hear me out these actually look a little bit better than the air max undefeated and it's a different type of sneaker when it comes to me i feel like i kind of want like different types of shoes like different colors and like, different things i don't want such a plain shoe all the time like like the undefeated air max 97 which are these right here these are just white with like a little bit of detail just like this is black with a little bit of detail but it has that purple it has that green iridescent it, this shoe just has a print more premium feel if you ask me this sneaker. this sneaker right here i feel like this shoe doesn't do too much but it's not 
very bland and basic. You get what I mean? It's plain, simple, but very dope. And it's a good sneaker if you guys are looking for a shoe that you want to cop for the low. Very comfortable. I actually feel like I'm actually selling this shoe for you guys. I shouldn't be doing this. But this shoe right here, I feel like it needs to get a little bit more love. But um, yeah, that's enough of this shoe. I already showed you guys the shoe. Just a little bit of purple hits, a little bit of green glow with an all black shoe. Very dope, super clean. It actually has that glow in the dark. So I wish I could show you guys the glow, but I just don't want to picture right here or maybe here because I can't really, I, I don't know how to do that yet. I ain't even gonna cap to y'all. So with that being said, I'm Starboy Dez. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Make sure to check out this video right here. This should be the How to Lace Jordan 4s that I just released a couple days ago. And this right here should be the sneaker that I never thought I'd be picking up right here. So with that being said, thank you for watching another one of my videos. Peace.